Nearly 300 technical presentations are happening this week at OTC, advancing your knowledge, helping you solve complex problems, and inspiring your next idea. OTC is celebrating over four decades of service to the community and industry. I'm Ed Hyland for OTC TV. The 2014 event is better than ever. By the numbers, attendance is expected to top 100,000 people. 130 countries are represented. More than 2,700 companies are exhibiting. High-level executives are holding nearly 29 keynote presentations, and there are nine in-depth panel sessions. Each day of OTC, topical breakfasts and luncheons like this one tackle industry-wide issues. Senior executives of operating, service and supply companies share their views on what's next for offshore e &P. One topical session explored the industry challenge of offshore asset retirement, including well plugging and abandonment. Chevron alone has more than 450 platforms to take out in the Gulf of Mexico. The success story is that technology, like the giant Versabar 10,000, is making the work more efficient and safer by reducing critical lifting and human involvement. If you abandon a facility, the old method was piece by piece, stick by stick, but if you can take the whole thing out at once, you know, that's going to be one lift versus, you know, a hundred lifts or a thousand lifts, so a lot less uh, equipment, a lot less steps, a lot less days, and it translates to a lot, a lot less money involved in abandoning a structure. Stelling says Chevron is also investing heavily to harden older platforms because the cost to abandon topple platforms and wells is six to ten times higher. OTC is launching a new event designed to spark innovation and creativity in our field. D5 will happen on May 8, 2015. That's when the brightest minds in ENP will challenge ENP professionals to think outside the box to discover unique connections and solutions. And we realize it's not going to come just from the oil and gas industry. There's so much going on around us in the different industries, in the medical industry, the space industries. It will be a lot more interactive, there will be a lot more participation. We're going to pay close attention to the mix of delegates. We will have uh, very different types of speakers that will be interactive. So save the date for D5 on May 8, 2015, right here in Houston. Oil and gas operations in deep water or Arctic environments was the focus of a technical session today on subsea processing. The challenge of increasingly high pressure and eventually high temperature conditions has operators looking for new ways to improve recovery and economics. The ESPs that are being used down hull as well as mudline pumps, we kind of compared the two technologies as well as looked at using the technologies together in series to see if we can improve recovery factors in the paleogene. The goal is to eliminate topside platforms when possible and put as much as you can subsea. A technical session also dove into the market's complex floating LNG needs. An overflow audience wanted to hear how engineers will go from land-based technology to ships that produce, liquefy, store and transfer LNG from stranded gas fields. A safe and reliable tandem offloading system is seen as the missing link for this new technology. Tandem offloading will enable the industry to go in really harsh environments, much more than where we are today with, with, with side by side. So our system is one solution to that, where we have a tandem system with aerial based hoses cryogenic flexible pipes basically. Energy professionals are scouring the huge OTC exhibition. It's your best chance to talk one-on-one -on -one with knowledgeable company professionals and get a first-hand look at all the technology. There's a huge difference between seeing things on the internet uh, or in brochures and actually going somewhere and seeing things and touching things and also talking to the people, right? In, instead of talking them on the phone, it's much better to see things up close. It's very important to see and to com compare with another brands. Actually coming here and seeing here, the benefit is you know, getting your hands on, seeing what's actually out there, the new technology that they have. Um, it's just, I mean, you're seeing it hands on, person. It's just amazing. You get to see it out of the boxes, off the paper. Um, you get to work with the people that work with the equipment. So it is, you gain a lot of different knowledge. The rise of big gas is one of the mega trends shaping the energy industry along the Pacific Rim. That's according to a panelist participating in this networking event. Trends covered in this talk have implications for project developments and technology innovations. We see huge growth in domestic production. This would only happen if we can unlock shale in China. There's lots of debate around 
whether or if that will happen. But in this particular scenario, we're giving an optimistic view that the technical and above ground issues can be resolved to en enable China to grow its domestic production significantly. After the presentation, attendees had the chance to meet new people and exchange ideas with those working on similar projects. Here in Reliance Center, OTC is recognized for its decades of service. The OTC Distinguished Achievement Awards for companies and organizations, Distinguished Achievement Awards for individuals, as well as special citations and heritage awards. Now for the 45th anniversary of the show, it's time to come together. Let's celebrate the progress. Well,